Hello, I'm Philippa Hall with this week's stories for First News. The Pope is retiring, saying he's too old to continue doing the job. Pope Benedict XVI, who's 85 years old, became the leader of the Catholic Church eight years ago. But in November, he had an operation on his heart, and he says he doesn't have the strength to carry on. The new Pope will be chosen by the cardinals of the Roman Catholic Church, and they hope to decide by Easter. Now, if you're studying for GTSEs or you're going to start studying for them in the next few years, then there's one thing less to worry about. The Education Secretary, Michael Gove, who decides how exams are organised, has said he isn't going to stop GCSEs. Mr Gove had been planning to change them to what's called an English baccalaureate, which would have been very different. But he's now opted to leave things as they are, although there will be some changes to GCSEs after 2015. A schoolgirl from Pakistan who was shot for demanding education for girls in her home country has left hospital in England after her latest operation. Malala Yousafzai, who's 15, came to this country for surgery in Birmingham to replace part of her skull after being attacked by the Taliban, who believe women and girls shouldn't go to school. Millions of people across the world have celebrated the Lunar New Year, also known as Chinese New Year, which is a very important annual holiday in much of Asia. In China, each year is named after an animal, and this year it's the Year of the Snake. But celebrations were a little bit different this time because people were asked to use fewer fireworks than usual to help reduce the smog after months of bad air pollution. The world's most famous carnival has been taking place in Brazil. The celebrations in Rio de Janeiro last six full days. Huge floats and hundreds of dancers with colourful costumes entertained the massive crowds. An enormous snowstorm has hit parts of northeast America. Tons of snow fell across a large part of the continent from Ontario in Canada down to New York City. More than half a million people lost power, meaning they couldn't light or heat their homes. Thousands of flights were cancelled and drivers were even banned from using their cars. Exciting news this week from space, where the remote control buggy sent to Mars has collected a sample of rock for the first time. Using a drill at the end of its robotic arm, the Mars rover Curiosity made a hole deep into the rock and took out a powder which will now be checked. Scientists hope it will prove whether Mars was ever able to support life. And finally this week, if you've got birthday thank you letters to write and you're into football, there are some new stamps which are perfect for you. They include famous players of the past like Bobby Moore, Bobby Charlton and Gordon Banks, who all helped win the World Cup for England in 1966. But there is no room for some of the best-known modern stars such as David Beckham and Ryan Giggs.